it um, we have come to this point actually that this is the uh, time for the closing of the uh, uh, Dhaka Hong Kong node activities. I have uh, um, I've prepared some slides and uh, I will uh, I will try to sum things up. That's essentially the um, the the first part of what I'm going to do, and then I will be very happy to hear comments and maybe we can have a, a little open exchange after that. Uh, where do we have it? Yes, share screen. Um, I think it must be for the first time that I, I don't actually have to click that button where it says share computer sound because this one uh, doesn't have any sound in it. It's a presentation without sound. <laughs> so I need to do this and this. Okay. Can you see something? No, you see darkness now, do you? Do you see the first slide? We see darkness. <laughs> Okay, um, you know, still struggling in, with Zoom. I'm sorry, I'll try again. Um, okay, try again. Uh, how about now? Much better. Yes, yeah. yes. And if I actually launch this? Yes? Can you see some um, handsome looking slides? Okay, I have to twist my neck a little bit so I can follow what I um, yeah so um, it, it, it is uh, uh, my my great pleasure to be able to to uh, present this to you and also my great uh, sadness that it has all come to the uh, to this moment of the closing of the Dhaka 2022 conference on data art for climate action and again, this is the uh, closing of the Hong Kong node. It continues in Graz and I elsewhere. So I will, um, I have a lot of thanks and a little bit of statistics and then to show the outreach. So first and foremost, the, the formal thanks and they go to uh, 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 firstly our sponsors. So there is the um, as has been mentioned, but I, I will emphasize that without the uh, uh, support and the confidence uh, from the Hong Kong Environment and Conservation Fund, none of this would have been possible to do. Uh, so thank you to, to them. Uh, and, and they have been following up and they have been very flexible to, um, uh, to me and to the organization in, in terms of adapting to the uh, uh, shifting circumstances that we all know about uh, in terms of moving dates and, and being flexible with the, the, the actual uh, content and what we're able to, to do. Uh, <laughs> thank you, but that didn't look so good. What, what we're able to do with the, uh, uh, as part of DACA. Then we have the um, uh, Cultural and Sports Committee of, uh, of City University, which, uh, which is uh, uh, providing a significant uh, additional support, which enabled the, uh, uh, the, the gallery exhibition, that act. And this is really the work of, of Rio Ikishiro. He took the initiative to, to making this application. Um, he, uh, he found out about it and he went ahead and did it, and then really took on took on um, a, a huge part of, uh, of this work to, together with Lina Simon in curating the exhibition that, that you have, many of you are part of and, uh, and you have seen in its online version. So the, the funds come from this organization within the university. And the third sponsor uh, is, is really our school of creative media uh, and you see here uh, uh, an aerial shot of the building and uh, you are if you don't know the, uh, the, the the place it's quite nicely presented on the website uh, maybe I will actually take a little moment in just taking you to that website and and so you can see a 
few images such as this one. Um, it looks great on the outside and, and we, we're filling it with content and the um, university is giving um, quite a lot of support to, to our uh, activities. Richard Allen, who, um, who gave... No, it's okay, we don't need the sound here. Uh, you don't see anything? Ah, okay. I think I know why. I will. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Zoom. One more time. Uh, I shall share. Uh, if thanks, Valerie, for being uh, very prompt in uh, shifting. Can you now see some uh, moving images uh, deliberately without sound? But you will just get a get a bit of a feeling of what the School of Creative Media is like through these images. Is that okay now? You see it? Give me the thumbs up or not. Yes, thank you. So, um, shout out to the School of Creative Media for supporting, um, supporting our activities and for uh, supporting uh, not... Can you now see the, uh, the, the slides, yeah? <laughs> it's a question. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Maybe I'm getting a little bit tired. I have to admit, I, I kind of find myself uh, sliding between uh, different modes of presentation here. Um, okay, so we have the three main sponsors. So really, thank you to all of them that have made this possible. Then we have our partner organizations. And number one is, of course, the IEM, the Institute for Electronic Music in Graz, uh, and. Uh, uh, they are as they are they represent the, the the node in Austria and they will be taking over activities in about a week from now on the on the 5th of March and again we would we initially had a very intimate or very um, um, closely connected programming of events sharing sessions or shifting between sessions uh, but we've had to uh, split it into two different uh, um, um, sets of dates yeah and uh, here in Hong Kong the Hong Kong Observatory as we mentioned they've been part of presentations and uh, they've actively participated and uh, this is um, neither the uh, beginning nor the end of uh, our collaboration between City University and Hong Kong Observatory it, it has uh, uh, been there before and it will also continue so thanks to Hong Kong Observatory. Uh, likewise, in Graz, there is the, the Wegener Center for, for, uh, for Climate and uh, Global Change, which um, uh, you will see uh, when you, uh, as we continue uh, on the 5th of March in Graz, uh, that their presence in the, uh, in the programming and in the events that they are organizing. We also have um, uh, support from Frontiers Journal, which has been very stimulating and also concretely uh, uh, important. We were able to um, get um, uh, a, uh, a financial support from Frontiers in the form of uh, fee waivers for two, two articles. And we gave these waivers out as, as prizes for the uh, uh, best submission in best paper submission to DACA would then go on to to this uh, to a Frontiers journal issue and the best student submission would also go on to um, um, to this Frontiers journal issue. I will come back and speak a little bit more about it at the end here. Uh, actually, <laughs> so I want to uh, highlight uh, the, the, the works by Salone Shah and uh, uh, Lillian Sijing uh, Tsong and her co-authors for, for being the, um, um, the, the, the winners or the awardees of these, uh, um, of these uh, prizes from Frontiers. Uh, we have also some uh, support in spirit from the TBA 21, the Tusen Bornemischer Art Stiftung, uh, which, which is a philanthropic organization based in Switzerland. Uh, and uh, quite important 
it's an, it's a, or, or it's it's a connection that has been come up here thanks to Shaurat Chopra and some of his students, the network of environmental student societies, and um, we are um, collaborating with them, but they have had to uh, postpone their activities, which otherwise would have been very closely connected to to this conference. But they they will postpone them for a couple of months into the future. Our team here in uh, in uh, Hong Kong, and here there will be a lot of names and a lot of thank yous. And to start with, it's uh, well, it's a it's a picture of myself there, but in particular the the uh, the, the some of my closest collaborators here in Hong Kong, and I, I really have uh, so so really heartfelt thanks to them and to their work as um, uh, for for uh, Chris Sandor as a paper chair. And to uh, Rio Ikeshiro as the uh, art artwork track chair, and and also as we know the co curator of the exhibition, also to Shaurat Chopra, who is uh, 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 an advisor, but he's much more than that. You've seen him engage in in the sessions, and he's also been uh, been an author to uh, to one of the significant papers uh, and a panelist earlier today. So thank you to to you. And there's more people that I, I will try to um, um, go through. Here's the list of the people who are part of the uh, um, programming committees, the three committees. So for papers, uh, for artworks, and for uh, works in progress. So, and they are some of the same names, but also, of course, Katharina Grossfogt. Uh, there's Ray L.C., there's Elke Reinhuber. Uh, the two latter are uh, colleagues here at the School of Creative Media. Um, and uh, as paper reviewers, you see there's a long list of names. I will not read them all. Um, but and I, I hope it's complete. I think it is complete, but we thank them all for their work in, in, in the um, uh, for papers, the double blind peer review process, and for the artworks, the single blind. Uh, review process. So thank you to to all of them for that, all of you for that. The uh, team more concretely, I've already mentioned most of these names. I will mention the uh, um, Katharina Grossfogt, her her concert chair in at IEM is Johannes Zmörlich and uh, and also the uh, data art for climate action, uh, co-curated by Rio and uh, Lina Simon with production assistant Guay uh, Among our advisors, I've already mentioned Shaurat, there's also Ray L.C., Changbo, and uh, Marcus Reimann, uh, Richard Parn Cut in, in Austria, and uh, Animesh Singh of the Network of Environmental Student Societies. So thank you for your work and in the team the production team so a lot of these people are our students uh, in particular i would just bring in into the camera here so show your face my my uh, my research assistant is mani chan and she really deserves an applause she's taken on uh, a lot of work in particular more recently here uh, she actually took over this position uh from uh, from from uh, uh, from, from uh, Tom Tse, who who had to do something else, so so shout out for to Mani for for taking over. She's also been doing the, the sound production for the audiovisual events. Uh, the design and uh, logo was done by Mar Marie Chan, uh, and the uh, proceedings and catalog design was done by uh, Vicky Wen. Uh, then we have uh, some names. I, uh, the, this, <laughs> those names and those people, they're all engaged, but they have, because we are not really, we are not doing this as a physical conference, they have not been activated. So I'm sorry, the names are there, but they, they haven't really been, been, uh, been have had, had any reason to, to, um, to be around. But for the uh, posters and, and key visual design, there's Kasin Fong uh, and, and working together with Lina Simon. Uh, for the website design, and that is the uh, Datact website, Tobias Tang, videos, video documentation by 
uh, Green Mo, and photos again by Cassim Fong. And here's uh, just some social shots there from quite early on. I think the the picture there with me and and Rio in the sofa. We 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 were at least I was exactly as exhausted at that moment as I look. So, but I think it's a a nice moment uh, quite early on in in the uh, when we were kind of hatching and thinking about uh, how to how to do this. Yeah. So thanks again to Rio, definitely my closest collaborator for this uh, for this journey of this project. Um, some snapshots over the past few days, and this is by no means exhaustive. It's just what I, I happened to be able to collate uh, uh, a moment ago, earlier today. So here's from from the opening. This is Sandy Song, the assistant director of uh, Hong Kong Observatory, and and then in the lower picture is uh, uh, the acting dean Richard Allen uh, and myself after after he gave his address uh, on, on on the Wednesday. Uh, here's from the uh, uh, exhibition opening, and uh, and here is from uh, I think the the first paper session uh, ch uh, chaired by Shahrat. Uh, here's from uh, Moritz Stefaner's uh, keynote, and uh, here's from uh, uh, T.C. Lee's uh, uh, presentation of, of Hong Kong Observatory's work. Here is uh, from the panel, the first panel. Uh, which was yesterday, and uh, and here's uh, a snapshot from uh, the uh, yes, yesterday ev late evening uh, uh, Algorave performance. Here's just be performing, and and here's a snapshot from uh, uh, the, the work by Moon Noon and Renik Bell. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, well, call it statistics. It's just an overview of the numbers. Uh, we've had two keynotes, Andrea Poli and Maurice Stefaner. We've had two panels uh, with uh, four plus four plus two conveners. There's the uh, uh, that act exhibition, which mainly consists of work selected from the open call, but also some curated works. There's 18 pieces in total. And I, I add on, there's also five artworks um, that are, are, are selected and curated that will go to Graz. And they also add on uh, more content, actually. Uh, I'll let Katarina uh, go into that eventually. Uh, we've had uh, three audiovisual events, uh, all also based on uh, open call and fe featured artists, and that should be fee, uh, I thought <laughs> feature spelled with uh, fee F double E. Uh, but, but we have, again, this Renig Bell, Munun, and Just B as performers, uh, the invited talk by, by Hong Kong Observatory and the exhibition tour and meet the artists. So this is pretty much, I think, the uh, what we have been able to present here as part of the conference um, over these four days. The, the one big thing that we uh, couldn't do is the student workshop, which was planned to be held uh, over the two days just preceding the events and then to have a presence at the conference. Now, the plans are to, to do this in the um, end of August, but we'll have to come back to that. Uh, the, uh, the, the structure and organization for the workshop is already in place, so I really hope that we will be able to do it. The proceedings and catalog um, is as I've, I'm sure you've all had a chance to, to see it and to flip through. So it contains uh, six full papers, uh, 23 artwork write-ups, and nine uh, works in progress or short, page, short papers. Uh, it, there will be a um, um, updated version coming in a couple of days' time. It's, uh, we've discovered a couple of uh, uh, no crucial mistakes or, or errors, typos, but we will fix that and then uh, post uh, uh, version two, which uh, should be definitive, let's say, in a week from now. Outreach. So what is DACA uh, doing? Well, we have the two websites yeah, and they are integrated and uh, they even uh, uh, graphically have some things in common. 
uh, you could say that the uh, uh, the dataclimate.org is more towards the um, uh, academic and um, the information and, and posts and such, while the that act website is is really a standalone um, curated exhibition in, in in itself, and and it will be a document for eternity or at least posterity, for as long as we have the. the as long as we can, it will be up. We have now I come to to the immediate continuation uh, in the frontiers research topic, which is called uh, data perceptualization for climate uh, climate science communication. So you see that it's uh, not quite, but very similar to the name of the conference itself. There is still time for you to submit uh, um, an abstract and, and, a, uh, and a manuscript. I think the uh, date for that is the 15th of March. So now is the time, is now or never. You can be part of it. Um, in this uh, topic, research topic, it's myself and Shahrad Chopra and Katarina Grossvogt, who are the uh, uh, guest editors for Frontiers. So we look forward to having your text, and I know that um, some are already in the in this process, which will be launched uh, with a peer review and and all this very soon. As soon as the manuscripts are 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 coming in, we launch the peer review process. Daka is present on uh, social media, and this has been uh, uh, this is an important part as well. So from from the right, it's uh, Facebook for those in that generation. And uh, then there is in the middle, it's uh, our YouTube channel. And as you can see that there is, um, for example, a, a, a few items of in the works in progress, a few items in the papers. Uh, at the bottom there, you see the welcome and if you haven't uh, seen seen the different the, the uh, I think there's eight or nine uh, sort of greetings and welcomes by the by the chairs by the keynotes uh, by by the winners of the uh, uh, Frontiers uh, 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 award uh, they, they they give the um, a bit of a, a welcome as well so do check that one out and to the left is uh, our Instagram. Uh, account which is uh, definitely for for uh, um, uh, for for the for the lighter for the lighter and more social side of uh, spreading the word I would say about what we are concerned with so I think this is all that I have well <laughs> number one the biggest biggest thanks uh, is of course to all the to all the participants to all the people, um, the authors and, and artists who have um, shared their work. Uh, and as we all know, this is a, a, a non-profit model or is an academic model uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, information sharing. And uh, I just want to thank to each and every one who has uh, been patient with our uh, nit gritting when it comes to proceedings and making sure that the um, you know the column width is correct and and the paging is layout is all right um, and and for and for being there and for being willing to to engage and to being part of this space uh, of this zoom land environment which is uh, at its best fantastic and uh, it really enables us to meet uh, across vast distances. Yeah? So thank you for being there. Thank you for sharing. Without you, there would be absolutely nothing. And that, I think, does conclude my, my slides. So I will uh, stop at that. And, uh, uh, and then I see the time. Have I been speaking for 20 minutes? My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for your patience, and uh, I will not say anything more. I can say thank you again. It's been a pleasure, and I hope we can do it again. <laughs>